Hi, my name is Jose Ignacio Nuño. I'm an industrial designer from Mexico City, and our company is called Suhav. Who we are is we are some designers that when we finish college and working with indigenous communities as a social service, we wanted to make a company that could change the way we live and the way we see the, the, the world. So that's why we got into sustainable design. Um, we wanted, without knowing nothing about the sustainable design, so we made, after a lot of research and a lot of uh, studies about it, we designed some boundaries to design every product. And this is what we called uh, the sustainable nervous system, in which the um, sphere of society, the sphere of the environment, the sphere of the, 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 of the economy are all interconnected and make a, a real product, not, not just a product that goes into one sphere or another. Maybe you are wondering how it's made, so this is how we do it. Recycled tires and cork. In 1888, uh, a Scottish inventor made a tire for his uh, son to go faster to school. And the tire is made from rubber, fabric, and wire. The problem with the tire is that it has a lifespan of 10 years. And then we see this. This is a, a sightseeing you see all over the world. And then, in, like in Mexico, we dispose 40 million tires yearly. Burning generates CO2 and more than 80 substances. Abandonment generates harm from fauna, like mosquitoes. Mosquitoes is an animal that kills more human beings in the world, more than even human beings killing human beings. So it's a real problem. In a tire abandoned in, in the wild, uh, 400 times more mosquitoes can generate from it than in a natural world. And then we mix it with, a, with, a, with cork, that is one of the relationships between man and nature that are really, really important because we leave the forest intact, so the forest can give uh, the, um, all, the, all the benefits that uh, trees gave to humanity. We only use the bark of them, we leave the, the trees intact. And with the mix of the tire, of the recycled tire and the cork, we make products like this. This is a USB. This is, you can see the USB 2. This is a wallet. We also make um, notebooks. We also make notebooks with Bridgestone, recycling their tires with, with our cork. Then we went into the recycled paper. Paper comes from the word papyrus, which is a natural resource which the Egyptians used to make the first paper in the world. Every year in Mexico, we consume 30, 300 million tons. For every ton we use, uh, we make, we use 100,000 liters of water. 90% of the paper pulp is made from wood, which represents the 35% of the felled trees. If we, for every ton of paper we recycle, we can save 17 trees, 27,000 water liters, 8.7 oil barrels, 44% of energy, 75% of environmental pollution, and 35% of water pollution. So that's why we make products with recycled paper. We make notebooks like this uh, in all sizes and everything. Um, here you can see some agendas also with a cork. This is, uh, we brand our products with, with our partners or companies that we, we sell our products to, like FAO. This is the inside of the product. Then you can see some notes or maybe some books for Coca-Cola in a company, in a campaign they had in, in Latin America that was living positively, in which they show the public all the, all the good things they do for the environment in Latin America. So we made them books that the important part of them is that there are zero trees used in our, in our notebooks and notebooks. Then we developed this seed paper. With the uh, recycled paper, we use the property of the seeds that it's called dormancy, so that the seed won't uh, grow until it has the natural resources necessary to grow. So we take this property and embed the seeds in the paper, so you can use the paper, and after that, you can plant it, and you can grow carrots, you can grow uh, a lot of things. We make with this uh, invitations, envelopes. This is a green CD in which you buy the CD, you plant the CD, and the, the CD only has a code which you can use to download the music. 
Then we developed this a portable ashtray. Everyone has seen this in the street, in the beaches, everywhere in the world. Because we think that the little cigarette butts are biodegradable or something. But it's not. Worldwide, 4.3 trillion cigarette butts are yearly disposed, which represent 500,000 tons of trash. One butt, only one butt, pollutes 50 liters of water with chemicals like nicotine, benzene, cadmium, tar, and a thousand more. In 2012, the International Coast and Cleanup revealed that 30% of the trash collected are cigarette butts. This is the largest category in the trash. What we have most in the trash is cigarette butts. It's, there's nothing more in the trash than our cigarette butts. And it's a little thing that we, we even uh, show each other how to throw it to the street. And we developed this. This is a short uh, portable ashtray which you can put your uh, cigarette butts in, and like a nice, elegant pe pe uh, person, you can then drop it in the trash. Then we developed these reusable bags. Everyone has seen this. In Mexico, we use 20 million plastic bags a day. Less than 1% is recycled. This represents 10% of the trash that arrives at the coasts. The turning currents of the North Pacific have grabbed more than 1,400,000 square kilometers of plastic generating the plastic soup of the Pacific like uh, something that you can correlate to Poland has 300,000 square kilometers. So this plastic soup in the Pacific is f maybe five times greater than Poland. So here you can see the Eastern Garbage Patch and the Western Garbage Patch. Something like this, you can see it. So if you use one reusable bag, you can save six bags a week, 24 a month, 288 a year, and 20. 2,000 a lifetime. So we developed these bags made from cotton. We use uh, Mexican cotton because the organic cotton, you have to bring it from Texas, so it's not even sustainable. And this says, Salva la Tierra es el único planeta con chocolate, saves the earth because it's the only planet with chocolate. And this is uh, different formats of the bags. And this is the kind of work that we like the most. We work with artisans. We work with women in Sinacantan, Chiapas, which is an indigenous community. We give them, this is Margarita, my dearest friend. She managed a whole uh, group of women. We gave them our bags and they embroider it with whatever they like. They grow flowers in their own, um, in their own town. So almost all of the embroidery is made with, with flowers. They, we employ different women. They choose how much they want to earn. They put the price on the product and then we sell it. We don't ask them, well, give us a discount or something because it must be a, 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 a two-way job. So that's the, the little products we make. And also we work with Huicholes, which is an indigenous community in Mexico that um, really kept their, their, their cosmovision. So we make for them um, wooden pieces like this bird and they put these little glass pieces on it with their cosmovision. We make trees, we make birds and also we make uh, like the spirit animals. They are really fond of the deer. They have a magical blue deer so that's why they turn this MDF um, thing into a blue blue uh, deer so they can show also the children while they are making the art that well this is a, a, a special animal that you should take care of and everything. So we develop with them these products, make it in different sizes and also we make what they want to make. They wanted to make also not any more animals, they wanted to make uh, people so we make this uh, witch old guy with they can um, then intervene. This kind of work took us to Nicaragua, invited by Solidarizos, which is a um, company from Finland. And they support Nicaragua, which is the second most poorest country in America. So we went into the upper part of Nicaragua, and well, we, we didn't have a clue what was going there. So we made two books describing what every, every community was doing, how they do it, and how they could change it. Then you can see here like uh, an example of Mosonte. And then we went to San Juan de Limay to give them a workshop about design. These are some of our uh, artisans that we work for, we work with. This is a design so you can measure the spaghetti. These are some limestone um, ice which you can put on the, on the fridge and then have your whiskey on the rocks, your proper whiskey on the rocks. 
This is Don Anselmo. He's working at the wheel, making a clay cell phone speaker. So we wanted them to make their own cell phone speaker so they can enjoy making different products, not making the traditional ones. So we made this whole workshop in, the, in which they measure their own cell phone, they make their own product, uh, maybe try different things. This looks really nice, but it didn't hear very well at all. And this is also for, her, for his mother. He wanted to put a little flower there. And you can see this, this phone and everything. And they also, we ask them to put their names in their, in their designs because they are also designers and artists. This is the best one of all. It was the ugliest one, but it was the best sound of them. And this was amazing because this is a 15-year-old kid that understood how sound works and how if you press the sound and you make the sound uh, go through a spiral, it's going to be a more defined sound. And it was a, this was a kid from 15 years old that lived in the country without education or anything. He also only had a, a, a child and everything. He, it, this was amazing. And this one we, we made in, in Mexico so that they could, we could bring them products with glazing, which is a, a, a thing with, with ceramics that they don't do uh, today. So every piece, is every piece is designed inspired by volcanoes because in Nicaragua is the, the country with more volcanoes in Central America. So you can see these forms everywhere. And we design and produce this in Mexico in hope to bring them uh, later uh, an oven and some glazing uh, techniques so that they can improve their, their, their quality. So also we make them this Manos Nicas uh, image so they can represent themselves better and have different um, packaging and also have different stores and everything. This is, you can see the, the, the packaging we made for them so that they could deliver more serious product to their, to their public. Then we also do furniture. This furniture is for our stands. We make uh, trees that it can disassemble really fast. This is a book holder. This is uh, an altar made of bamboo, bamboo guadua taken from Colombia. This was for my best friend's wedding, in which he, he he, he had all the ceremony. This is a composter we make from wood. This is a composter, really a small composter, so you can get in touch with the compost and see how nature works in your own house. This is uh, my partner's house. This is how it works. You only put the trash, see how you can develop the trash. This is something we made with Masisa, which is a, a company from Chile. They had developed these uh, wooden sheets, and sustainable wooden sheets, and we developed these products like book holders, a uh, building lamp, a uh, coat hanger, or this shoe organizer. And this is a table we made for General Electric with um, recycled plastic from toothpastes. Here you can see it assembled. This is a whole stand we made for Godel Grill, which is a company that sells tortas de chilaquiles in Mexico with sustainable uh, materials too, also. And this is a book I'm working on about bees. Uh, this is how the, the hive organizes. You can see how the, the queen bee is in the center, the drones and the lady bees. On, on, on them. This is the anatomy of a, of a bee worker. And what I want to do with this is how pheromones work. What I want to do with this is understand how nature works. This is a, a theme that is really, really amazing. I, I advise you to, to get into it because it's really, really nice. Just yesterday we were talking about it and it's really amazing. You can really get in touch with nature and really feel how it works and you can see how interconnected we are with everyone. This is uh, uh, another design that I made. This is illustrations that I make by hand. I also am written the, the book. And this is a mural I make in, in Colonia Doctores. This is the kids that were uh, seeing me painting the mural. This is uh, just to show the kids that the bees pollinate until almost 90% of the wildflowers. And I put a mulching in the, in the lower part of, of, with coconut and then put flowers that could attract bees so that also the kids could show not only a bee painted but the real bees coming to feed to these uh, flowers. 
So this is an acacia we were talking about yesterday. And this is the first bee. And that's all. 